Okay, this is just going to be a really quick video update on the ongoing Mega Drive development of Scorpion Engine. I'd like to um, thank our, our patron backers as well as um, Bitbeam Cannon for um, generous support. Um, so I'll get right into it. So as I've discussed before, we've got this experimental uh, Mega Drive output for Scorpion Engine. Um, we can hook it up to whatever emulator we want, so long as it can load ROMs from the command line. I use the Gens emulator. Um, as I discussed before, we've got the full screen panels loading, um, as well as code block logic. Um, but what's new is the ability to actually load and display levels. So we can't actually play the levels at the moment. There's no support for sprites. But or well, sprites or game objects, but we can load the levels. We can see all of um, the the tiles and the blocks. Um, we do need to add some sort of support for parallax background. Uh, if we look at our VDP, we can see that we have loaded all of the blocks of the game. So that's all of the. Um, like these cherries, for example, as well as the tiles that are specific to this level. So that one thing that Scorpion does is it throws out all of the tiles that a level doesn't actually use to try and keep memory as um, uh, memory usage as optimized as possible. And uh, we'll we'll definitely need to do that for the Mega Drive output since we don't have a lot of space to play with. And yeah, that's about it for now. So this is all checked into the experimental branch of Scorpion Engine uh, 2023.1. So you'd need. So if you want to have a look at that, um, you would need to get the experimental release. But in a few weeks, that will be added to the main repository for Scorpion Engine.